Well, as we continue to get back to normal, activities and events, many things are still looking a bit different. And for the second year in a row, the Special Olympics Rhode Island State Summer Games have been canceled due to COVID-19. But that is not stopping Special Olympics from honoring its athletes and recognizing its coaches and volunteers. 12 News anchor Mike Montecalvo is live at Special Olympics RA headquarters in Smithfield, where the virtual Summer Games will take place tonight. Hi, Mike. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Kim. So a pandemic is not going to stop Special Olympic athletes from competing. So what they're doing, it's about 750 of them. They're going to participate outdoors safely, and you're going to see all of that tonight and tomorrow. We're going to stream that for you live on WPRI.com as the virtual state summer games kick off tonight at 7. I am joined by Officer Frank Matteris right now from the South Kingstown Police Department. By the way, the state summer games is not just about games. It's also about the torch run and the first responders parade and that's really one of the most inspiring things of the weekend when you really think about it when you see the athletes coming up including officer Matteris lighting the cauldron uh, it gets emotional for you absolutely I mean it's you know it's an opportunity to be involved with something that's bigger than us you know it's a great experience so how long have you been part of Special Olympics I've been a part of it for about eight years now and uh, what does it mean for just not just the South Kingstown Police Department and you but law enforcement everywhere it's an opportunity to just step up and be involved and help with inclusion with these athletes and just help them be, you know, the best that they can be. All right, so you're going to Russia <laughs> with uh, two athletes uh, for the Winter Games that are going to take place in January of 2022. A true honor. Yeah, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm extremely humbled and uh, grateful for the opportunity, so I'm looking forward to it. All right, so if you want to see something really emotional, there will be dozens of police cars, first responders. They'll be driving up to the Special Olympics headquarters here in Smithfield with their lights on. Officer Matt Reese will help light the uh, cauldron and will kick off the games. All of that live on WPRI.com tonight starting at 7. Live from Special Olympics in Smithfield, Mike Montecalvo, 12 News. Despite dropping COVID numbers, Special Olympics Rhode Island State Summer Games held at URI typically are canceled for the second straight year, disappointing hundreds of athletes and their families. But a virtual ceremony highlighting the organization is taking place tonight. 12 News anchor Mike Montecalvo is live at Special Olympics Rhode Island headquarters in Smithfield with a preview. Hi, Mike. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Kim. Yeah, they are disappointed. You got to think about it. They've been training all year for the state summer games, and to have it for the second year in a row canceled is a disappointment. But Special Olympics Rhode Island wanted to go one step further. So we're doing the virtual games. What does that mean? You're talking like 750 athletes that are going to do their games in a safe place, and it's going to be live on WPRI.com. We're going to carry that for you tonight and tomorrow. Dennis DeJesus is the CEO of Special Olympics Rhode Island. He joins us now. And, and Denny, you know, people. People are looking at this and saying the restrictions are lifted, no more masks. Why can't we go to URI? I don't think they realize that this is almost a year process you have to go through. We were probably one month out, Mike. If we had one more month to plan, but again, it's not so much our decision as it is URI's decision. It's the state of Rhode Island. There are a lot of factors that come into play when you schedule a state summer games. And like I said, if we were one more month away from the pandemic, we probably could have gone down to URI and had a, a celebration. But today we're here to celebrate uh, virtual summer games. You know, it's fun to see. There are so many athletes that are here uh, tonight. They, are like, they were going to go play outside, but it started, it started raining. They were going to play cornhole. But they had, some of them haven't seen each other in a year and a half, and it means so much to them. You know, when you, when you talk about the word resiliency, uh, all of us can take a lesson from the great athletes of Special Olympics Rhode Island. What they've gone through the past 15 months, periods of isolation and loneliness, and yet they battled through it. And I remember we talked last year at this particular time about they've fought through so many struggles all throughout their life, prejudice, biases, stigmas, and so the pandemic wasn't going to stop them. No, no shot at that. But you know what, Mike? We're 365 days from URI 2022. All right, I'm going to put that right on my calendar for you. Yeah, uh, no, all right. Sure <laughs> all right, Denny, thank you very much. Uh, coming up in the next hour, you're going to meet a special Olympian who not only gets medals, but he's a businessman, too. We'll tell you Ian's story coming up. Live from Smithfield, I'm Mike Montecalvo, 12 News. The pandemic has taken a toll on most of us. Isolation, separation, loss of jobs, and even loved ones. 
and it has also hit Special Olympics Rhode Island hard. For the safety of the athletes, the state summer games at URI are canceled again this year, but one shining light, some sports have resumed, and the second annual virtual state summer games ceremony starts in less than an hour. 12 News anchor Mike Montecalvo is live at Special Olympics headquarters in Smithfield with a preview and this week's Street Stories. Mike? Shannon, Kim, and the good news is the rain is starting to let up too. But for the virtual games, I don't know if that's uh, really going to matter. You know, you're not going to stop Special Olympics Rhode Island, right? They're going to have their athletes participate. More than 750 are doing virtual games. They're going to do it outside in a safe place tonight and tomorrow. And we're also remembering those who have passed away. Take a look at this. This is the Special Olympics Rhode Island Athlete Memorial Wall, where they have listed all the athletes that have passed away over the last several years. And Ian Shepard is an athlete that. It's not just winning medals, but he's also giving back, raising money for an organization that he loves so much. And he's turning honey into money in this week's Street Stories. You don't want bees stinging you. These things are gators. Protect your feet. We put the actual suit on. Suiting up to stay protected. What we would do for a street story, right? Ian told me I had to put this on. So here I am. Working hard is part of Ian Shepard's DNA. Yeah, beekeeping is a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but it's fun. Now we're going to go into the hive. Besides his job at the Castle Hill Inn, he cares for a number of beehives on the island. I smoke these bees. Including several at his parents' home in Newport. Step one, convincing the bees their hive is on fire. They'll be mad. What happens when they get mad? They'll attack you. Okay, so we don't want them to get mad. Yeah. We want happy bees, Ian. Yes, we do. The bees flying in and out, bringing pollen and nectar from trees and flowers. The worker bees storing the honey. The drone bees, well, they have a different job. That's a drone bee. That's the male bee. And they mate with the queen. They go out on a mating flight. They go looking, they... For, they go looking for dates. No, <laughs> no, they don't. The queen lays a white particle called larvae. Is that the one with the little blue? Yeah, yeah, she's the right queen. There, that's the queen right there? Yeah. So what is she doing? She's um, finding a place to lay her eggs. Once harvested, Ian bottles the honey and sells it. Partial proceeds benefit Special Olympics. His dad, Mike, tells me his son takes everything seriously. And about 10 years ago, he said, Dad, I want to, remember you used to have honeybees. Let's start it up again. I said, oh, God. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, start reading up on it and YouTube it and everything. He did. Ian is also a decorated athlete winning dozens of medals. He proudly represented Special Olympics Rhode Island in Japan, South Korea, Canada, and the United States. Next January, he hopes to compete in the skiing competition at the Winter World Games in Russia. Doing the best you can. Um, you're not going to get a gold medal a lot in, all, in every event, but you're going to go out there and try your best. Inspiring all of us, whether it's on the slopes or in his parents' backyard. And Ian gives it his all 100% of the time. By the way, if you'd like to purchase some of that honey, it's going to be available at the end of the summer. You can uh, get up, go to our website, WPRI.com. We'll have the all, in the, all the information for you. So let's hope the rain uh, subsides here for the opening ceremonies at 7. You'd like to watch it, you can stream. We're streaming it live on WPRI.com. Mike Montecalvo, 12 News.